This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Raiden, that door is watertight. Yeah, I know how to open it. We covered it in VR training. True. Proceed with caution. an enemy sentry, AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Grelukovich man. Grelukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Is that 
the best you can do. What's wrong with you? Really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. 
most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you were right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah.
See me for what I am, okay? I know.
Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell? In 1560, Lord Nobunaga Oda defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa in Okehazama. Soon after his victory, Nobunaga fell to a fatal arrow which pierced his throat. However, Nobunaga was far from finished. With the help of the demons, he rose from the dead. The demons began their rampage slaughtering innocent villagers. Then a young warrior, Samanosuke Akechi, stood up and defeated the Demon King. The nightmare, however, did not end. A few years later, his strength restored. Nobunaga was set to conquer the entire country.
New warrior Jube Yagyu heard about a demon attack on his hometown, Yagyu Village. Fearing the ominous presentiment in his heart, he desperately raced back home. who attacked here? For whom are you working? I won't forgive you. Prepare yourself!
What? Kill him, for he is the real demon. A demon? What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, defeat the demon, Jube. Your hand has the power to absorb the souls of demons. Use this power to defeat Nobunaga. were created to protect humans from the demons. Charity. Faith, honesty, respect, and strength. Gather all the orbs and defeat Nobunaga. You must go to the Dragon Shrine and obtain a hidden power. Then, you may begin your quest in the gold mine in Imasho. Who are you? You can do it, my son. Dantes. Are you all right? You don't have to be thankful. It is quite natural for men to say weak women. Uh. 
Jubei. Stay back. Ah, now. This is the battle that I've been waiting for. The final round. My name is Gugan Dantes, the greatest swordsman of all demons. Whatever. You saved her. At least that was honorable. Thank you. My name is Gogan Dantes, the greatest swordsman of all demons. Can we get on with this? I'm all yours. Angar! Jubei. Oyu? Jubei! Oyu! I didn't know you survived. Jubei. Time to go. Why? You need to go home. I'll finish this alone. But. Nobunaga is still your brother. You cannot be involved. Jubei. Jubei! I. I hope you find happiness. Jubei.
Nobunaga! You're too late, Jubei. I've just transferred my power into this golden evil statue. Look at it! Mm. Anyone who witnesses it will kneel before its might. Never! No one will serve a man who has sold his soul to the demons. Mm. You are not worthy. Charity, respect, honesty, strength! 